So GEA jerseys, what is the best one out there? I'm not too sure if it's any of the current GEA jerseys that are available today. Certainly not any of the inter-county GEA jerseys. Home jerseys a lot of the time sometimes can be uninspiring. They don't change a lot of the time from year to year. You do, if you look at alternative kits and third kits and away kits and even goalkeeper kits, a lot of the time you can find some absolute gems in there. And there certainly are a lot of very underrated GEA jerseys out there. But what about the home inter-county GEA kits? Like, what jerseys do we think actually look nice? What jerseys do we think look bad? Obviously, everyone's opinion, everyone's taste is going to be entirely different. And a lot of the time, like, it's a completely subjective conversation because... I mean, at the end of the day, my opinion as a Dublin fan is going to be completely different to an opinion of a Kerry fan. But if we're actually to look at the jerseys themselves, remove all bias and look at each jersey individually, what jerseys do we think are actually quite nice? What jerseys would we wear? That's what the topic of today's video is going to be. It's a little bit different, a little bit different to what we usually do on this channel. I, mean, I was thinking about making a video, just sort of ranking all of the recent GEA home into county kits. The 2023 kits, obviously not every county released the 2023 home kit. So we'll just be ranking sort of the most recent home kits. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be ranking all the kits in order. We've got a bit of a tier list here and we're going to be putting them all in and deciding which GEA home into county kit is the best one on the market at the minute. Now, I will be honest, I don't know if GEA jerseys or into county GEA jerseys nowadays are hugely inspiring. Like, I feel like a lot of them lack any sort of creative spark. And I think GA jerseys, or jerseys in general across all sports, unfortunately, have just become very minimalistic and lack imagination, in my opinion. But what we'll do is we'll rank them all and we'll discuss who are the winners, who are the losers, and what GA jerseys would we wear. So, yeah, let's rank all of the GA home inter-county kits. It's just a bit of crack. It's just a bit of a laugh. It is my opinion. So bear that in mind. But if you disagree, let me know in the comments down below. And let me know which kits are you a fan of, regardless of what county you support. So, let's go. So, as you will see on screen, this is a, a tier list that I created for the purposes of this video to basically rank all of the GA kits. Now, unfortunately, we do have some uh, advertisements running on the sideline there, which, uh, yeah, look, this video is not sponsored by any stretch of the imagination. There you go. Unfortunately, there's no way for us to, to get rid of them, so we'll just have to put up with them for now. But as you can see on screen there, we have a GA tier list, a tier list to rank all of the jerseys. And as you can see, we've got uh, five different tiers here. We've got perfect. So which jerseys are the absolute creme de la creme, the best of the ones available? We've got I'd wear that. So, you know, it's it's not, uh, you know, the best GA jersey out there. But you know what? You look at it and think, I'd wear that. I'd give that a go. I'd wear that out to the local park, play a bit of ball, wear it to the beach, maybe wear it to coppers, you know, at, at, on Sunday at half six in the morning decent it's okay you know it's it, you look at it and think it's not giving me brain damage it looks all right and um, but would i go out and buy it probably not average it's just you know the jerseys look the same for years it's not great it's just very very average and bin it as soon as you see the jersey like you're just your eyes are hurting like you're you know you're getting palpitations you just gotta put that in the bin straight away it's a no-brainer and we just wait until hopefully the county releases the jersey next year. So as I said, it's all subjective. It's all a bit of crack. It's all a bit of fun. Um, but do let me know in the comments down below, like which jerseys you are a fan of. But yeah, as we can see here, we've got all 34 inter-county home GA jerseys. Um, so we've got them all in here. We've got London and New York in here as well. And as I said, let's try and remove any boys. Like I've obviously got this Dublin jersey on, which I think is the... 2019 or 2020 jersey uh, much prefer this jersey by the way than the current one and um, not a fan of it yeah look i mean like a lot of the jerseys like i feel like a lot of them are kind of the same year on year but some of them have changed but anyway let's let's crack into it and uh we'll throw the like the image of the jersey on the big screen just so you can actually have a proper look at look at it as we go along but we'll start off with the the waterford jersey and to be honest with you i just think it's it's quite average i feel like maybe the background doesn't help and um, the fact it's white obviously in the background it, it probably doesn't make the jersey quite stand out but i feel like there's some white jerseys that look quite nice like i feel like the Kildare jersey is quite nice and um, i think tyrone's jersey isn't too bad as well in fairness but the waterford jersey just lacks any real imagination like it's just it just doesn't look great at all it almost looks gray you know and like even when you look at 
the the player fit jerseys are um some of the players wearing the jerseys they just look quite boring and unimaginative and i feel like the waterford jersey in general when it had those kind of blue stripes i thought it was quite nice but i feel like this version isn't particularly great so yeah we'll throw that an average tipperary's jersey is quite nice i'd probably put that into decent um I'm, you know, would I would I wear it? I don't know. Like maybe I would. To be fair, like I think the blue is quite nice. The yellow stripe, obviously, in the middle. Um, Tipperary jerseys have tended to be more or less the same. I feel like for years they haven't really changed it up too much. I feel like it's all right. Like it's it's it, it's decent. It's decent. Like it's just plain standard GA jersey. Nothing amazing, but you know, it's it's all right. It does the trick. In fairness, and if you're a Tipperary fan. Like, would you go out and buy that jersey when it hasn't probably changed in the previous years? Probably not. The Limerick jersey. The Limerick jersey is interesting because it doesn't have a sponsor. It's one of the very few. I think the only jersey, actually, as a matter of fact, that does not have a sponsor on the shirt. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards I'd wear it, to be honest, because I quite like that it's just green. It's very plain. It's got, like, a few nice kind of white stripes going through it as well. Um it's it, like it's it's not bad it's not bad it's not the worst jersey in the world in fairness um and yeah i put it and i'd wear it i think look it, it doesn't have a sponsor i think that's good I, I i don't like sponsors on ga jerseys to be honest with you i feel like if they could all just not have any writing on them i think it would be great and that's why i think i'd put that in i'd wear it i think it's a decent it's a decent jersey in fairness claire's jersey i think is probably again similar with tipperary like it's it's decent you know it's okay it's not giving me brain damage looking at it like it's it's all right like the stripes i suppose maybe add a bit more of a difference to, to, to the claire jersey and uh, i feel like the claire jersey is like the reverse of the tipperary jersey isn't it it's, it's basically the same except the colors are the opposite way around where they've got the blue stripe in the middle whereas tipperary of the yellow stripe in the middle like it's it's decent it's decent we'll, we'll, we'll put it that way london's jersey like I mean, it's okay. It's got the it's got the stripes, isn't it? I feel like it's okay. Like I feel like it's kind of more average, really. To be honest with you, like looking at it, it's like with the white stripes, maybe decent, maybe decent. It's it's all right, isn't it? Like I suppose it's a jersey we don't really get to see too often because London uh, are very you know they're very rarely ever televised in fairness. Um, but I think it's I think it's decent. It's okay. It's not it's nothing spectacular. The Leitrim jersey, I'm actually a fan of the Leitrim jersey, to be honest, which I nearly put it in perfect because, like, the, the look of it, it's got a very distinctive green, dark green. The yellow stripe goes well. I think the sponsor looks quite decent on it. The way the badge is as well. I, I, I quite like it. I do quite like it, to be honest with you. I would tempt to put it in perfect, but... It's definitely a jersey I'd wear. Definitely a jersey I would wear in fairness. The Kilkenny jersey. Now, the Kilkenny jersey, much like a lot of jerseys, is another jersey that probably, like, doesn't change. And I suppose if it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I suppose that is what they would say. And it, it does the job. It does, it does what it needs to do. Like, I feel like Kilkenny jerseys have just more or less been the same. Like, the traditional black and amber. No real need to, to change it. I think the sponsor isn't too overwhelming as well. Like, it just fits in quite nicely there. I'd put it, would I put it in? I'd wear it. Like, may, maybe decent. Maybe decent. I think it's, I mean, it's it's, it's kind of just, Kilkenny jerseys have just usually been the same year on year. The Armagh jersey, however, I think is actually very nice this year. Like, it's just got that full orange. It's a, it's a bit more on the redder side this time around this year than orange um i like the the stripe sort of on the you know sort of at the end there it's just that quite plain and 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 just just how i like it just how i like it like it's not like i remember when armagh had sort of the the orange and then the white stripes that thought it was okay but I, th I think this armagh jersey is actually quite nice do you know what i think i'd actually put it in perfect i think it's a very very nice jersey do i put it in perfect do i put it in, I, i'll put it and i'd wear it maybe we won't put it in perfect just yet um maybe maybe we might move it up we might move it up the, the antrim jersey is an interesting one and i think the antrim jersey is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous to be honest with you like it's got that those white stripes obviously coming coming down the shoulder um or sort of coming down the collarbone i should say and it like the saffron color is just really nice isn't it like really bright i feel like antrim like their jerseys are usually quite nice in fairness like they've got something going there the saffron color is just be a beautiful, beautiful, tremendous color, isn't it? So I think that Antrim jersey is quite perfect, quite delicious. 
Um, and I would gobble it up. I really, really would. The Carlo jersey, I think, is also... I think it goes into the perfect category as well. Like the rainbow colours, mix of different colours. They all just blend so beautifully well together, don't they? Like you've, like you've got a couple of stripes going on on the shoulder there. Red, uh, yellow and green. I think it just looks perfect. And the Car Carlo jerseys have always been something I've been a fan of. Nice, attractive jersey the cavern jersey is also quite nice as well i think i'll put it and i'd wear it i'd wear that i certainly would i think it's it's decent like it, it's got a good blue color like i know there's been times where cavern have tried to like integrate white in the middle and like they've mixed it up in a couple of times i think the the stripes sort of coming down the collarbone look quite decent the sponsor isn't too overwhelming as well i like it i do like it i think the cabin jersey is uh is quite decent the cork jersey then is uh is an interesting one i mean i feel like it's like it's it's okay like it it, it just it does what i suppose it needs to do like it i suppose the sponsor at least blends in with the stripes obviously on the shoulder but would i put it and i'd wear i feel like i'm being very kind to a lot of jerseys here i feel like it's all right isn't it it's okay like it's nothing nothing do you know what? we'll put it in decent it's nothing amazing but it's 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 lookable it's lookable the dairy jersey i'm just not really a fan of to be honest with you and i think i don't even think the dairy team are a fan of it i don't even think the management or dairy themselves are particularly a fan of it because they're always wearing the red jersey they actually very rarely wear this jersey perfectly honest and i just don't think it's great and i think we'd have to we'd have to bin it we'd have to get rid of that jersey it's not a particularly brilliant jersey i think the the dairy jersey of of last season was a lot better in my opinion um, I think this one isn't particularly nice. Like it's just got that red stripe in the middle. It's very basic. Nothing really going on on the shoulders. Not a great jersey, is it? Um, to be honest, Tony Gall jersey. Like I think it's. I mean, I don't know. Like it's it's okay. Like would I put it in average? Maybe I would. I don't know. Like the sponsor, the, the black and the sponsor. I don't think really goes with it. It's it's all right. Like it, I feel like the Tony Gall jerseys look very similar for the last couple of seasons. And, and, and maybe that's why we'll we'll throw it an average. Um, the down jersey, it's it's interesting. The down jersey, I feel like they've they've definitely gone for something a lot different this year, haven't they? They've like with the white stripe. I feel like like every GA jersey is kind of very similar with them stripes, isn't it? And you, you've got you've got a lot a lot of different colours going on here. In fairness, um, I do actually quite like it. I actually do quite like it. To be fair, we'll throw it and I'd wear it. I think it's a it's a decent decent enough jersey. Uh, the Dublin jersey, I'm throwing into average. I'd even go as far as bidding it, to be honest. Being a Dublin jersey would be would be an absolute sin, you know, around these parts. Absolute sacrilege. Like, you'd be, Jesus, you wouldn't be allowed out of your house. But I just don't think it's a nice jersey. I wouldn't bin it. I wouldn't bin it. I'm a Dublin fan. But I don't think it's a great jersey. I don't think it's a nice jersey. Them, like, them dark blue navy stripes, they just don't, they don't work. It does not work, in my opinion. I feel like white stripes there would have even nearly been better, like... I don't think it works at all, to be honest with you. I'm just not really a particular fan of this Dublin jersey. Now, should I see that, you know, this Dublin jersey be the jersey that we win the all Ireland with? Maybe I could change my mind, but uh, yeah, I, I don't really, I'm not a big fan of it. The Fermanagh jersey, again, I, I, I don't know, it just, it looks very green, looks very bland green. Like, I don't know, it just looks, it looks out, it doesn't really look great. Like, it looks like it's lacking lot of colour it nearly looks like it's trying to be an Ireland jersey in some ways probably nearly looks better than the Ireland jersey in fairness but I think it's quite average like it's it's nothing is it special is it brilliant I don't really think it is Galway jersey then I mean I'd, I, I'd put the Galway jersey in in decent it's all right like it I don't know what's going on with the sort of white um like little stripes that are coming across there it nearly looks like when you let a three-year-old draw on a jersey like they have a bit of chalk and they're just trying to draw it across or something. I, I don't know what's actually happened there, to be honest with you. But I feel like if this was full full maroon, I'd, I'd actually put it up here. But I think it's a stripe. Them like random little stripes just kind of ruin it, in my opinion. Um, the Roscommon jersey, I think, is beautiful. I think is absolutely beautiful. Those little blue curves, I think, like they work very well. The sponsor is obviously written in the same color as the blue. The stripes aren't too over the top as well. I think as far as Roscommon jerseys go. This is really, really nice, and I think it's it's perfect. I think it's perfect, and look, I certainly wouldn't have wore a Roscommon jersey at the Dublin match. I mean, it wouldn't have made any sense for me to do that as a Dublin fan, but 
I think it's a very nice jersey. It's a very, very nice jersey, in my opinion. And then we have the Kerry jersey. Um, look, we'll remove some bias. Yeah, like, I, th I think it's decent. It it's a lot better than the Kerry jersey a couple of years ago that had, I remember, had the sort of yellow um, kind of colours on, on, on the shoulder. I think this one's definitely a lot better. I think this is actually the 2022 jersey. They didn't have a new home jersey this year. I think it's all right. It, it does its course. Kerry fans would have seen that jersey. You know, it's an all Ireland winning jersey, so I'm sure um Kerry fans would have would approve of it i think it's all right i think it's decent the monaghan jersey then i have to put it in bin it again monaghan are another county that i think are wearing their their away jersey their blue jersey is lovely the blue jersey is really really nice but that home jersey like i just look at it and i think like what is going on there's so much writing in the sponsor like there's so much going on there you know it's just like with the blue stripes they've tried to add a bit of color i think they could have done more there to be honest with you um, especially along the sleeves, they could have done more. So, I th yeah, I don't really like it. I don't really like it. And, you know, maybe Monaghan fans might disagree. I think the away Monaghan jersey is very nice. I think the Monaghan, the, the away Monaghan jersey is quite nice. But there we go. Uh, the Kildare jersey I put in decent. Um, always been a fan of just the plain white kits. Um, like Monaghan obviously have a plain white kit, but they've, you know, they've added a bit of the blue stripes and a bit of blue going on here. But with Kildare, it's just plain white. The sponsor looks a bit overwhelming it's i feel like it sort of takes away from the kit ever so slightly but like the plain white kit real madrid leeds united always been a fan in fairness so i think it's decent it's okay it's nothing special it does the job it does what it says on the tin it's all right moving on to the leash jersey um see like i look at the leash home jersey i look at the monaghan home jersey like both sides have sort of similar colors I suppose Leisha predominantly blue. I think it's all right. I'd put it and I'd wear it. I think I I, I don't mind it. I think the little white stripe goes well. That the stripes there. Yeah, it's okay. You know, it look. I suppose it's kind of very similar to the Cavan jersey with the stripe in the middle. Um. Yeah, I think it's all right. It's all right. It's it. I I'd certainly wear a Leash jersey, and I think a Longford jersey I'd wear as well. I actually really like the Longford jersey. Um, the sort of golden uh, stripes on the sleeves, the, the fully blue. I think the Longford jersey is quite nice. It's got a really nice blue color. It has a bit of a distinctive blue color as opposed to the Leash and Cavan jersey. So a Longford jersey, I'd certainly wear a loud jersey. I think the loud jersey is gorgeous. It's very, very nice. Them, that little tint of white going through the middle, the red just looks perfect. It just looks really sort of distinctive. I really like the loud jersey. I think it's perfect. I think it's gorgeous and look i know the loud loud county board were trying to sell the jersey for extortionate prices i don't know if i, I agree with that but i think the loud jersey is quite good and then we have the mayo jersey yeah the mayo jersey is all right it's i'd put it in decent i think it's it's it, it's it, it it does it does what i suppose it needs to um it's definitely better than the i remember there was a mayo jersey a couple of years ago i thought that was quite poor quite awful but this one's actually all right it's you know the the green and red but yeah decent decent jerseys as far as mayo jerseys go it's nothing amazing nothing special but it's it's quite standard uh the me jersey i think is quite average i don't know what's going on with those boxes that they've got you know it looks like they've tried to do something a little bit different and it just doesn't really work does it like i, I don't know what's going on with them boxes there like it's it looks like i'm looking through you know it, it just kind of makes my head look a little fuzzy or make makes my head feel a bit fuzzy to be honest i don't think it's the best uh jersey the sponsor as well i don't think really looks that nice um see so yeah, i will throw it in average uh the, the new york jersey there's definitely been better new york jerseys out there put it in decent like it's it's a it's a different looking jersey which i think gives it a bit of a, a bit of a plus like but i remember that do you remember that new york jersey that had like the it was almost like the american flag like it had the red the white and then like the the sort of light blue I, I, I thought the old new york jerseys were stunning and um, this one just looks very basic it's decent it's okay like it's it's all right um would i wear it probably not but it looks all right you know we'll put it in decent the offaly jersey um yeah like it's i think it's 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 okay like it's you know, it, I suppose green, white, and orange, or green, you know, green, white, and yellow. I suppose like any team that has has colors like that, it's always it's always going to look good on the eye. But it's like it's okay. Like it 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 does. It's decent. Like it's it's nothing special. And um, it's probably not the best awfully jersey we've ever seen. But again, it's just very awfully true and true, distinctive, 
decent. The Sligo jersey, you know, Sligo in fairness have been very good with their kits down the years. Um, I don't know if it's their best kit. There was a kit a couple of years ago I thought was very, very nice. But, it, you know, it's a, it's a distinctive colour. Like, it's different to all of the other GA jerseys, which I think gives Sligo a bit of an advantage. I nearly put it in perfect. I think it's a very, very nice jersey. Um, but I do think there's been better Sligo jerseys out there. It's it's decent. It's decent. I used to always be a big fan of like the Sligo jerseys that nearly you know had the the sort of white white and uh, black stripes. Like I always thought were very nice. But yeah, I think it's okay. It's it's I'd wear it. I would wear it in fairness. The Tyrone jersey. Um, yeah, it's look. I think it's it, it's it's again probably put it into into decent maybe. Um, it's it's got a bit of gold going on. Um, there's a few different colors like. Obviously, a few red stripes. It, it looks a bit over the top um, for a Tyrone jersey, but like it, it's okay. That like I suppose maybe you know Tyrone will like a bit more red in the jersey, in fairness, or a bit more red around the collar. But like it's okay. Like it it does what I suppose what it needs to do. It's nothing special. Westmead. I actually quite like the Westmead jersey. Big fan of the Westmead jersey to be honest with you. Um, especially since they got rid of that. And they used to have that like yellow or gold and Reynolds um, thing in the middle of the in the center of the jersey, the sponsor. Now they've got rid of that, and it just it blends a lot more in. Um, again, a lot of these jerseys probably look very similar with the stripes. Yeah, like I think this one's this one's all right. I think it's okay. Like it it it. I would certainly wear it. In fairness, I think the maroon of the West Mead looks a lot better than Galway. I think. You know, but that, that's just my opinion. The Wexford jersey, I could probably put it in, in like, in average. Like, I think that yellow, that big yellow um, part there just makes it look a little bit off, in my opinion. I, I think, like, if they were just to have it, like, a proper sort of purple, whiny color, I think would have looked a lot better. But having that yellow and having the crest on it as well, like, you can barely even see the, the crest. Um, so I think it's quite average. And then last but not least, we have the Wicklow jersey. Wicklow, interesting, you know, sponsored by the same people as Westmead. I was never aware of that. Like, it's okay. Um, it looks kind of similar to the down jersey in some ways, doesn't it? I feel like the stripes are nearly coming too close to the crest, though. Especially on the down jersey as well. Um, but I think it's, like, would I, I'd probably wear it. Actually, do you know what? I put it in decent now that I think about it. The stripes are kind of annoying me. Um, bit of a, yeah. But I think it's decent. It's okay. Like, it's... It's nothing groundbreaking. It's not a revolutionary jersey. It's definitely a lot better than previous Wicklow jerseys, in fairness. You would say that, but yeah, I'd put it in decent. But anyway, as you can see there, that is my tier list for a whole host of different GA jerseys. Let me know what you think. Um, I suppose just two jerseys I've been in the end, the Derry and the Monaghan jersey. Again, like, you know, if you're a Derry or Monaghan supporter, like, don't take offense. It's just, I like, don't really like the jersey, you know, and, and, and maybe... Um, supporters of those counties would, would agree and I think you know the Monaghan away jersey is really nice and the Derry away jersey the red one is, is very nice as well I think um, hence why those two counties wear those jerseys those jerseys more often than not and then looking at it here like just look just very like uninspiring jerseys here um, in my opinion like nothing nothing grey these ones are decent like they you know they do they do what they're supposed to do and these ones, I definitely wear these, and obviously these are the perfect jerseys, aren't they? The Loud, the Roscommon, the Carlo, and the Antrim jerseys, I think are the king of the jerseys. In particular, I think the best GA jersey, if I was to rank one as the best, I think it's the Roscommon one. I think it's very nice. I think that blue stripe, like it just looks very cool, doesn't it? And it just looks very, it looks like a very summery type jersey. I do really like it. Um, and you know who, who knows where that jersey could be with ross common this year but anyway we'll go ahead and wrap this up here obviously a bit of a different video uh, a little bit different to what we obviously usually do but uh yeah let me know like what what way would you rank some of those ga jerseys and um, which ones do you think are perfect which jerseys would you wear and which jerseys are uninspiring and just do you have to put them in the bin let me know let me know but anyway leave a like subscribe um we will do maybe more sort of tier list type videos just for the crack and just for the laugh and everything else. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on some of these GA jerseys. Uh, which ones would you buy? And um, which ones would you not buy? And especially for, obviously, you know, what county you support. Let me know your thoughts on, you know, your own county's jersey as well. Because um, curious, certain to know. Um, but yeah, let me know. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions on the video. Like, subscribe, and we'll speak to you all soon.